What's up everybody? It's Shana Burgess. I'm so excited you clicked on this video because I'm gonna share with you my wild Christmas day. Uh, I decided to do something different this year. I mean, there's fails. Listen, th there's fails through it. This is also my first video that I've edited uh, myself. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I am at Costco. Um, this will be my second trip to Costco. The first one was for uh, Burning Man. This place is wild in here. And it's wild right now because it's the day before Christmas. So um, in true Shana style, I've left this to the last minute, but it's fine. We're not gonna talk about that part. I'm really excited, also nervous. It's like a zoo in there. So here we go. The homeless that have their own companion animals. So let's get some of these. Finally headed to the checkout. I've got everything. It took me about an hour. Face razors, um, baby wipes, the dog biscuits, feminine hygiene. Um, they're, these are for me at home. Um, got some Dove soap. There's a ton of stuff. Some underwear and socks. And this checking out looks like it's going to be fun. Check this out. Wild lines everywhere. So it was all in all, if we take away my things that I got for me, it was a good little $500 shop. Oh God, I can't steer this trolley. Trolley, shopping cart, what do you guys call it? We call it a trolley. Was I supposed to bring my own bag? Is that what this is? I didn't know that part of Costco shopping. kind of like a another world in there. I nearly walked out with the TV. It makes you want to buy things. I bought a vacuum cleaner. Why did I buy a vacuum cleaner? It's 5.30. 5.30? No, it's 6 a.m. What? I don't think I've been up this early on Christmas since like I actually believed in Santa. My house smells amazing right now because I cooked a potato gratin last night. I should have filmed that because that was a pretty exciting adventure. Anyway, let's do stuff. A new vitamin. Well, this is a probiotic and a prebiotic. I'm about to try it for the first time. It looks really good. I have prebiotics, probiotics, green superfoods. You know, I think it's like apple and cinnamon flavored, which I am not a fan of cinnamon. It's supposed to be very, very good for you. So the digestion and um, it's too early for me to explain this shit to you. Look it up. I need a glass. It's always great when it looks like that. Oh, it's not bad. It's like apple juice. Oh my god. I lied. It's hard to drink. <laughs> Headed out to Venice. Uh, but uh, via my friend's house, Ariana, I'm going to pick her up. She's an awesome human. Um, works with special needs kids. She's an angel. Love her, but also fun personality. You guys will love her. She has no idea she's gonna be on camera, so that's exciting. We'll see how she feels about that. <laughs> Hi, Ariana. Hi, guys. What did you bring us? Dog beds. We have um, blankets, we have shoes, 
um, Nike Air Maxes that I've never worn, literally, that are sitting under my bed. Someone's about to get lucky. Yeah. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, guys! <laughs> We're out. We're out! Doing good stuff. Good stuff. Good, good deeds. Things. Good things. Good things. This is our best angle, babe. This is what we've got. This is what we're working with. Oh, God. <laughs> I know, it's great. Good Lord. Peace. Good Lord. <laughs> Here's my story of me cooking last night. Oh, God. Oh, by the way, show him your thumbs, no, I did. Please. I showed them. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, this is, this is the first thing she said to me. Last night, I was looking, because I've made potato bake before, right? It's an Aussie thing. I've watched my mum make it a ton of I've times. Mum gave me her At directions line, just right for me to be. Drive. Um, and turn left onto Santa Monica Boulevard. Uh, the, in, the uh, directions are going to annoy me. Please turn right onto North Rodeo Drive. Turn right? Then turn left onto Santa Monica Boulevard. Why do we think we just go that? straight? God, Makes these map no things sense. are weird sometimes. <laughs> what do you mean? Why did, why did I just make a loop for no reason? What map is this? Google Maps. Oh. What's up, Google? That's weird. There's not a single car on the road. So that makes no... Shouldn't I just take Santa Monica all the way down? Yes. Yeah, Don't listen back. to the law anymore. It'll reroute it. Don't be impatient with me. It was, <laughs> it was Google's fault. But anyway, I decided to get creative. And I had this truffle butter and chives and all these different things. And I started making it. And this sauce was going to be so good. Because you put this like cream throughout it. In Australia, we have double thickened cream. You don't have it here. So I needed no. to thicken cream anyway. So I start putting all the things and I start cooking. This this sauce is going to be amazing. I've used the oh, truffle butter. That was butter. a recipe. Quarter mile. Take a slight right turn onto Wilshire We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. It was nothing. <laughs> it was nothing. Oh my god. Sean is driving 101. This one does Take weird things. Take a slight things. right turn to merge onto I-405 South. Oh, once you take the freeway. But now it's telling me to go straight. That's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't... The Google Maps never knows what way I'm facing and the amount of times it tells me to do strange things like that, like a weird loop or yeah. go up Wilshire when I'm about to be uh, close to a freeway. Like it makes no sense to me whatsoever. I don't know. Everyone loves Google Maps. I, I don't have a problem with it. Well, what is that then? I have is it my <laughs> phone? <laughs> I'm trying to tell this story and I'm failing at it because I haven't had enough coffee and I can't focus. But I was making this sauce and it was about to be amazing. And then I accidentally had In the heat up just a miles, Turn left onto Beloit Avenue. Just a touch too high. Mm -hmm. And I burnt the shallots that were in it, but I didn't fully realize. I was like, oh, it started to brown, which it was supposed to. And I didn't realize that I'd burned it. Anyway, I spent about an hour making this goddamn sauce, mm -hmm. taste testing and whatnot, only to end up burning oh, the no. fucking onion that went into it and so when I was tasting it I was like something is off in here there's no grocery store open for me to go and get new things to start over again so I just had to make do with what I had oh no but it's gonna be good don't worry <laughs> we'll see <laughs> it serves me right for trying to be creative with cooking what business do I have trying to be creative <laughs> creative with cooking hey it's I holidays. still had to call my mum for the instructions and then I decide to like take a left and like do my what you're thing. doing now? I'm, I'm not <laughs> taking your left. Wait, Just you saying. confused me for a second then. I thought I was supposed to go left. Don't do that. Yeah, I'm not mad at this for Christmas. This feels like an Aussie Christmas. So pretty. This is freaking beautiful. So Come pretty. on. Damn, I miss the beach. I miss I, know. I miss living so in the beach. So much time we're coming here. <laughs> we should rent a house. Why would we rent a house I'm in the city that we live in? How does that make sense? All right, we're about to unload the car and get all the things uh, over there and sort of separate and arrange with everybody and then start making friends. I've never met a Dobergine before, but look at this. It's the waiter on the phone. He's all like, what? That's that your best guitar. What is this? You ain't playing with best guitar, you. No. <laughs> <laughs>
All my life, and I did come a two step. I do the James Brown dance. Everybody knows two step by Bob Benny Beach. You do the James Brown dance? Oh, yeah. That's Can amazing. Oh, can't do it now. You can't, can't do, do it, it now. now. Mm -hmm. I'm come out, come out all the time out here. And see me, I'll be up to dinner. Good stuff today, two step. We all got, got, got good stuff. You know what I'm saying? God bless. You got some shoes, yeah. you got a blanket. Yep. And thank God we all made it. A lot of homers out there. God's good. God is good. I told you, 66 Thursday. What? Happy and, birthday. And good. And God love all y'all. Thank God you do that. Bless your kids, your mother, your nieces, and nephews. Bless him go to church. God bless y'all. Ah, oh, that's amazing. God call Yahweh and Yahweh. Oh. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen to that. Merry Christmas, Jesus. All right. Don't be like that. Thank you for coming. It was a pleasure meeting you. You are uh, two step. You're the best. All right. Thank I'm wishing you all the best. Okay. God See bless y'all. God bless you. Yeah, y'all have very good. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry two step. Two Can I get a hug? Step. Can I get a hug? Two step. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Okay, God bless y'all. God bless you. Okay. Oh, my heart's full right now. Okay. 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 What do you mean? Oh, oh no, you can't lose the game. Oh, no. You got, you got this? I got that. Thank y'all. See you later, Tuesday. See you next year. That was amazing. Oh. He's the cutest thing. You know, he's only been homeless for six years. Wow. You got to wonder, like, what happened? I wanted to ask him, but I thought, you know what? It's Christmas Day. Yeah. I Maya was home, just became homeless six months ago. He lost his house. Wow. Um, and his family doesn't want him. Um, his dad doesn't want to help him. They told him that he has to figure it out himself. And he was so, how old? He would have been in his 40s? He was 45 years old. Um, you hear people's stories and you're just grateful for what you have. 44 years old, he's had a family, lost his house six months ago. Now his family doesn't want anything to do with yeah. him. And now he's here having to take donations and gifts and um, donated food for Christmas Day. And he had the best attitude. He did too. Yeah. He was grateful for everything. He was happy to be alive. That's all he just kept saying. That damn dude makes me emotional actually, yeah. and I'm not kidding. Tears have been rolling down my face. So. Makes you very grateful for what we have. Absolutely. Makes me feel like an asshole for when I complain. Me, <laughs> me too. <laughs> you just told me that I need Depends. Do you know how mean that is? <laughs> I need to pee. I'm doing the pee dance. Okay, can you hold yes. over there in the corner so we can see? No, 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 like hold it so we can see. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm doing the pay dance. I can't help it. <laughs> I Put told her if she has her depends in the car, it would help her. In their right mind. Well, if you can't go to the bathroom, if you don't you have, have your diaper. To. Listen, it'll it'll pass. <laughs> all right. I just really need to pee. Let's talk about something else. All right. That was pretty awesome. It was amazing. It was awesome. My heart is really full right now. Yeah. Um, just listening to people's stories. It was a really beautiful thing to be a part of and to see how it affected the people that came to it. There's still a massive line out there. It just goes to show how much more they need in donations and how much more they need in just simply people turning up and or just giving things away of their own or um, and just hot food for Christmas Day, which is something that, you know, we take for granted. Absolutely. Two step. 
the first guy that we helped through the line was being so, no, no, that's enough and that's enough. He wanted to make sure there was enough left for everybody. No greed. When I go to Christmas dinner and there is pork crackling, you best believe I take all of it. <laughs> it's just a perspective change. And I'm, I'm just really grateful that we got Thank to do it. Thank you for inviting me today. Thank you for coming with me. It was emotional. It was all together just an amazing experience. Anyone that is looking for something special to do for the holidays, or it doesn't even have to be the holidays, it could just be any other regular day. These things happen everywhere. Just Google search, that's all I did. I Google searched uh, uh, volunteer work for Christmas day and a few of them came up and I know that uh, Lost Angels was one of them that seemed like it really needed quite a bit of help. It really is awesome. I encourage anyone to do it. You can donate straight to Lost Angels if you just go and check out their website. Um, I'm probably going to go and donate more money to them. And I'm donate out. anything in your house, anything. you know, anything that you don't use anymore. Go through your closets. Mm -hmm. They will take literally all the donations they can get. Yeah. Even if you don't yourself have the money to just send donations, I'm sure you've got a couple of old pairs of sweatpants that maybe you don't use anymore and someone yeah. else really could. You've got a hoodie that you don't use anymore that someone else really could. Or you're able to walk in and help serve food. It's, it's even as simple as having conversation yeah. and a friendly face and our homeless community isn't seen, right? People duck their heads when they drive by, when they walk past, yeah. when when you're sitting at the traffic stop and someone's coming up to you with a sign saying that they're an army vet and they need they need cash. People roll up their windows. Roll up their nowhere. windows, pretend they're on the phone yeah. and duck and hide away. And here they are seen, truly seen mm -hmm. and being helped and being hugged and listened to. Yeah. You know, and they're telling their story and every bit of volunteer work you can do is incredible for that reason. You're allowing people to feel seen and that is something that we all want is to feel seen and heard. We could all do better. Yeah, we, we could all do today. better. We did good today. Go to Love you. Love you. All right. Merry Christmas, guys. Turn the camera. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. Please uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. This was my first video that I've ever edited. So be kind and uh, I'll get better at it. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. I hope you have an awesome new year. Wishing you all the best for 2020. May it be your best year yet. And please like, subscribe and all the things. Bye.